Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to data merge in Adobe Illustrator with images. Specifically, we're going to make these escort cards with first name, last name, table number, and we're going to use an image to delineate the meal choice here. So we want that to be different on every single card. Now the first thing we have to do is set up our spreadsheet accordingly. So you want everything in a separate column. So we have our first names here. We have our last name here in this column. And then what the client sent me was each dinner choice in this column labeled dinner here, but she sent me like the full name of everything. And we don't necessarily need to use that, but we're going to use it to set everything up. And then our table number is going to be in this table column here. Now in this column E, we want to add our image file. And in order to tell Illustrator that it's an image file, you want to put an at in front of the column name. On Google Sheets, if you try to do this, it's going to start tagging a lot of things. So what you typically need to do is just put an apostrophe and then do at and put the name there. And that way it will format as text. But you have to have that at sign or Illustrator will think it's just text and not an image. Another thing is that you want no spaces in any of your column headings here. And you also don't want any spaces in your file names. So all of the folders that you go through to get your files will need to have no spaces in them. So you can see how I added an underscore for creative underscore market, and then an underscore for MC underscore carrot cow, etc. If you have a Mac, you should be allowed to have spaces here, but if you have a PC, just avoid the spaces. And no matter what type of computer you have, you can have any spaces in the column headings. So for each meal choice, we want to choose the file path that will take us to the image we need to use. And this is just the file path on your computer. So here's all of my meal choice icons. And I just exported the four that I need for this file as individual PNGs with a transparent background. Now those four files are located here. So MC carrot, MC chicken, MC cow, MC fish. So when I right click on this one, I'm going to click on copy ads path and I'll click control V. And just so you can see what that looks like, it looks exactly like what we have here with that exact file path that it will need to take to find the MC carrot PNG. Now we would do the same with chicken. We do the same with cow and we do the same with fish. And then we'll just fill in. So we would copy and paste the carrot one down to all three of these veg options, the cow one for all the beef tenderloin options, the chicken one for all the chicken options, and the fish one for all of the people who are eating mahi mahi. You can use as many different images as you want. You can put a different image with every single file here. This is just one example of how to use this feature. Now that we have our spreadsheet set up, I'm just going to download it as a CSV file. And I have another video walking you through exactly how to do the variable data setup in Illustrator. So I'll run through it quickly here, but check out that other video if you want a more in-depth discussion. So we'll click on window and go down to our variables panel. We're gonna import our data source, which is just that spreadsheet we downloaded. Put farm as, as the first, grant as the last name. We don't need the dinner. This one will be the table number. And you can see meal here is not a text. It has an image icon and therefore it knows that this is going to be a linked file in the image. Now, if you want to see if this is working, you can check out the different data sets. You can see that the fish changed to a carrot here. You can see it changed to a cow in that data set. And then let's check out one of these other ones for it to go back to fish. Let's see if I can land on a chicken. There we go and we see the chicken one as well. In order to save everything out, we create an action. So we go up to window actions and I've already got one here that saves out as a PDF. If you're creating a brand new one, you'll just click new action. I'll call it new action. And then you'll just save however you want to save this file. So if you wanna export it as a JPEG, that's what you do here. I want to save this as a PDF and I wanna save it in this particular folder. So I'll save it as a PDF save and then say I want my trim marks on here, my document bleed settings, etc. And I'll just click save PDF. Now we'll stop that action. Now to do all of them, we're going to do a batch action. So with that action selected, we'll click on batch and you'll see that new action is selected. If not, just go ahead and select it. Our source needs to be our data sets. 
And then if you did an export command, you'll check this one and choose a folder. We did a save as command. So I'll check this override action save command and I'll choose a folder where for data merge, select folder. And then you can have it stop for errors so you know where they are, or you can have it log errors to the file. I'm just gonna do this so that it keeps going to show you how it works. And when you click okay, you can actually see it run through all of the different pieces. When you have an image, it takes a little bit longer than if you don't have any images. So I'll speed this process up a little bit. Once that's done, if you head into your folder where you told it to save, you will see we have every one that we wanted and we have them all saved out the exact same way that we wanted. So like Jonathan Palmer, table six with a cow. Here we have Jonathan Palmer. Where are you, Jonathan Palmer? Table six with that beef tenderloin. Now my only gripe with this is that it saves them all as individual PDFs. So the easiest way to merge them all together is just open them with Adobe Acrobat and use the combined files or if you use organized pages, you add the, all the other files. So we have combined files, which is really easy. So insert pages from file. We use the first one already, so we'll select all the other ones. Add them in here. And now we have all of those pages that we can go ahead and send to our printer or print in-house, whatever we want to do. Now I have some tutorials showing you how to do data merge in InDesign, so you should definitely watch those and see which one you like better. Um, I like different ones for different reasons. If you're not using any images and just using text, I prefer InDesign, but if you are using images, then Illustrator can make that really easy, especially if you have multiple images per page that need to swap out depending on the data, um, or if you have like a different image for every single page, it could be easier to do that in Adobe Illustrator using this method. And I'm all up in Adobe forums asking if there's a way to go ahead and batch save them all as a PDF with different pages instead of individual PDFs. So if you know how to do that, definitely comment below. If there's any other features that you want me to explore in Adobe, please let me know in the comments. And if you are brand new to Illustrator and this felt a little over your head, check out our free Adobe Illustrator course, which I'll link in the description of this video for you that will get you set up and using Illustrator like a pro. Thanks everyone.